Well, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is the first video that you are watching. Hi, my name is Lauren and I am a kindergarten teacher in Illinois, both of which are new to me. I am new to Illinois and I am new to kindergarten, but that is okay. And today's video, y'all, I am so nervous. I don't know if you can feel like the nervous, excited energy coming off of me through the camera, but today I have a fingerprinting appointment and where we're living, my husband and I just moved to Illinois, um, if you haven't figured that out, but where we are living is about 35 minutes away from where I'm going to be teaching. So even though we've like been here a week, I haven't been over there yet. And obviously like when I got the job, I did it all online through Zoom. So I've never like been to the school. It's a wonderful school. Like I'm not worried about that. Um, I think it's just like nervous, excited because I'm gonna be meeting my principal for the first time and getting to see my classroom in person for the first time. Um, she was so kind to send me uh, two pictures of the space and kind of told me there was like a bathroom and a storage closet. But anyways, anyways, today I have a fingerprinting appointment that I made like months ago um, that is in like the area. So I had reached out to my principal trying to just like kind of touch bases with her and make our paths cross. And I let her know that I had scheduled my fingerprinting appointment for this day. And fortunately she's like just got back into town and then she's leaving again, I think this weekend. So it kind of worked out that I get to go to my school afterwards. So I actually have to go to my district office to get a form. And then I have to go to the regional office, which is like higher up to do the fingerprinting. But luckily for me, um, the regional office is in the same like four block vicinity of my district's office. So were I teaching at like a different district in the region, it would be like a hall, but it literally is a two minute drive. So that makes my life easier. So we're gonna get on the road. It is 840. I am like very, very early. This is just, oh, this is bringing me back you guys to the first summer before my first year. If you are here, you know, I would rather be an hour early than a minute late. And that is just, I will die on that soapbox. So anyways, I'm very early. It's 8.40. My fingerprinting appointment is not until 10 o'clock and it is 35 minutes from here. So I'm gonna go get Starbucks. No one's surprised. I'm gonna get coffee and breakfast and then I am going to go to pick up my form, head straight to the office for my fingerprinting and then um, from there, go to my school. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, I will say that I'm not trying to like start classroom setup today um, because I am gonna be like meeting my principal for the first time and getting a tour of the building and everything. So like I'm wearing a cute teacher outfit. I have on, this is like, I think my favorite teacher top. So cute, it's from Marshalls. And I have on jeans and I just realized that I forgot to wear earrings. But fortunately, um, on the way home from school, I always take my earrings off and like throw them in my little console in my car. So I found these and they kind of vibe, so I'm gonna wear these. Um, anyways, I am not trying to like set things up today. If anything, I'm going to like inventory the space, measure the boards, maybe take paper down off the boards, kind of see, just like gauge how much stuff is in the room, um, just really get a feel for the space. And then we're gonna go shopping because I need, I have borders and stuff, uh, but I do need like some classroom setup necessities, like basics. So if you are interested in any of those things, then that is our day today. We have a lot to do, but first things first, let me put my earrings in. Mm. Da, 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 da. I can't believe I forgot earrings. Who am I? Oh, also Teddy Man is at daycare for the first time today. Well, he went for like his temperament trial. Teddy is my dog. If you're new here, hi. Um, anyways, he is there like for a full day for the first time. Earlier this week, he just went so they could make sure he was like um, not dog reactive or people reactive or anything and he did really well, so he's there. And that's fun, but we'll pick him up later. Anyways, earrings are in. I'm feeling much more myself now. Let's go get coffee. Y'all, I just made it to the Starbucks line and I'm just giggling because I don't know that there's a student driver actually in the car. Um, but the car in front of me has like big stickers that say like student driver drive with caution And I think that is so funny because like if I was a student driver I would want to practice going through the Starbucks drive through too. So like I get it Hi, welcome to Starbucks. We're going to 
Good morning. Could I please have a venti brown sugar shake and espresso with an extra shot and extra oat milk? Made it. We're going in for fingerprinting. I cannot imagine the bundle of nerves I'm going to be when I arrive at the school, you guys. I don't know why I am so nervous. Y'all, first of all, roll the footage. I would rather be an hour early. An hour early? Than a minute late. So when I booked this appointment, I was in the Eastern time zone. So when I booked it for 10 a.m., that means that my appointment, in fact, was an hour ago. So I was, in fact, an hour late, not one minute late, an hour late for my appointment, mortified. There is nothing in this world that I dislike more than someone who is late. And I was just my biggest pet peeve in the whole entire world. So what a great way to get things rolling. Fortunately, I was, I like, I realized as I was coming in, cause I was like, you know what? Let me just like double check my email reminder. And it was in fact 9 a.m. Central time because I realized then that the time was like quantified with a time zone and it said EST and I was like, Oops. So as soon as I walked in, I was like, hello, I'm so sorry. My appointment was for nine o'clock, but when I, I moved from Massachusetts and when I scheduled it, I was under the impression I was scheduling it for this time zone. I really apologize, like profusely apologetic. And they're like, oh, it's no big deal. No big deal at all. And like, literally it took four minutes, like no big deal, but oh my goodness. Of course, of course that would happen when I was just preaching on my soapbox about not being late. Oh, you know what? The universe, God will humble you so quickly, so quickly. So now that that is done, an hour later than it was scheduled for, I'm headed to my school. I'm freaking out. And like, I also am thinking like, do I call my principal to let her know that I'm there? I told her I'd be coming at 10 15. I'm a bit early, but that's okay. Um, so I'm thinking like, I just go like rock up to the office and ring in the bell. Ah! I'm freaking out. Okay, we're gonna hit the road. I need my phone to navigate because I don't know where I'm going. So here we go. Y'all, we're here. If I didn't have butterflies before, oh, they are kicking now, y'all. First of all, this neighborhood that I just drove through to get to the parking lot, it is beautiful, like million dollar homes. And I like kind of knew that because I looked at the school on Google Street View, but like, what we are in a different tax bracket but it's gorgeous and i'm here and i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna go on a tour and i'm gonna see my classroom and it's gonna be good and i'm speaking that into existence right now it is gonna be good it is 10 10 right now so i am a little early because i would thought that my finger pointing fingerprinting appointment would last till 10 15 and i would get here like after that so i am early I'm wondering like, do I bring stuff with me? I have my backpack with like my computer and then like if I needed to take notes or anything, but I feel like I'm gonna leave it in the car. Um, I'm gonna leave my coffee in the car. I think I'm just gonna go in with my keys and my phone and we'll do the tour and then maybe I'll ask like, is it okay if I stay in my classroom for a bit? Like measuring boards and such. I'm gonna, Take a minute, say a little prayer for this new beginning, and then we're going in. And I will update you guys, hopefully, from my new classroom. Oh my gosh. Oh, I am here. I'm in my room. I'm whispering, even though my door is closed because I'm like the only one in the building. Um, but you guys, holy smokes. <laughs> totally different learning environment than where I have been. Um, so I am feeling like a fish out of water a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit out of place, but that's okay. Um, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. So new and nice and safe. And like all of the different safety precautions as we were walking through the building, I was just thinking like, wow, that's so nice. And also there's more than one floor so i'm gonna have to like really walk the routes to remember like how do i get to each of the different like special areas and the cafeteria and the playground and the kindergarten playground because we have a separate playground um but there's like a lot of stairs and we have a library we didn't have a library at my last school so i'm just like 
right now I think I'm just kind of in shock but like a happy shock but I'm currently in my classroom and I wanted to show it to you guys and just do like an empty classroom tour because for the most part like the room is very empty um the storage closet on the other hand is fully stocked with goodies and resources and things that I need to sort through not necessarily to get rid of anything um, but just to organize them more intentionally and so I know like what is there because if I don't like go through every single thing and put it in a place that makes sense in my brain then like I will never know it's there and then I won't use it and my students won't get to benefit from it so anyways that'll be like a whole day project that door is the storage closet this one is the bathroom but anyways let me show you guys the overview and then i think right now it is 11 30 ish and i think all i'm gonna do today is take down the yellow bulletin board paper <laughs> from all the bulletin boards there's my rug it doesn't like totally match my theme but that's okay we're just gonna rock with it but anyways i'm gonna take down the bulletin board paper today and then make a list of like classroom setup things that I need and today is Thursday I don't know if I had mentioned that but I am not going to be coming in tomorrow so um my principal was saying that typically they are here Monday through Thursday over the summer until I get my um like building fob and then I can let myself in which is just like totally different world than before <laughs> um but anyways so I won't be coming in tomorrow but that's kind of like a good thing because that does mean that I can place like a big Amazon order tonight for things that I need and then they'll be here by the time I come in again to start setup which will be Monday and that way I can like really use tomorrow and the weekend if I need to to um like prep and make a to-do list because now that I've seen the space I know like what I need and I know um like in my mind like I can start to plan where things are gonna go and then like once you see it there's just so much more you can do um because then like I said then you know so anyways let me without further ado show you guys my little empty classroom tour and very empty because my tables are not here um so this room has had desks even though it's kindergarten <laughs> for the past couple of years because of COVID but this upcoming school year, um, my principal kindly reached out to me and asked which I would prefer because we are allowed to have tables again. And I said, definitely tables. I am team tables all the way. So the tables were removed and put in like a central storage location. So those just have to be returned. But anyways, let me show you the room. All right, so this is my door and my big windows to the hallway. Right now, I just have those stools stacked up on top of there. I'm pretty sure Kayla from Move Mountains in Kindergarten has the same ones. And then there are three of these like mailbox pieces, one, two, three. This is the back of the room. I'll back up. So I have backpack hooks and like little area up top, but obviously kindergartners aren't going to be able to reach that. So I'm going to have to think about like what's going to go up there. Um, but I'm thinking I would like all three of these to be like parallel with the wall and then maybe hang like a little curtain and pull it to the side on that window. Cause I just think that'd be really cute. So I'll have to ask about that. But I think hanging things is going to be okay because these things are hanging from the roof. So I don't, I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> there is these two metal bookcases are back here. Um, I don't think I'm going to use those for my library, but they are there for now. I'm thinking that this corner might end up being like my small group area. We will see. The kidney table is also not back yet, but we'll see. So I have that area and lots and lots and lots of bulletin boards. Y'all So look at this bay window. I die. So I really want that to be the library area. There are all the chairs. I have all this storage, big bulletin board, and that is a smart board, but I'm getting a Mimeo board, I think she said. So there's that front area with the two bulletin boards. Let me back up so y'all can see the other side. Okay. So then on this wall, this is like a long filing cabinet that is totally empty and cleared out, which is awesome. Then I have the two doors. This is a storage closet and that is the bathroom. So let me show you the storage closet. Bum, 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 bum. It is a wonderful space. It is very, very packed. So I did do a little bit of clearing off. Like I cleared off a little bit of space here, um, but I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed by uh, the amount of stuff that is in here but it's all good stuff it's all like curriculum and stuff and it's very like neatly organized which is very nice of the teacher who was here previously so I'm thankful for that I did put all the extra like storage bins all in one place across the top because I will not be needing those but I don't want to throw them out so they're all up there and then I have like a couple of clear shelves and I'm going to continue to organize this little storage room the best I can so that um I think I had mentioned before if I hadn't um, no, I had mentioned it in my classroom takedown, but I never posted that video. So anyways, um, 
I have like the crates of things and I was hoping to use those for like seasonal items or like monthly items. But in order to do that, I would probably need like at least three, like one, two, and three of a spot. So we'll see. This will be, like I said, this will be a whole adventure during classroom setup. But you know what? As long as like my stuff comes in and has a home, it's okay. Because this is all stuff that's like stored away, but there's also so much storage in my classroom, like so many cabinets and stuff for things that need to be accessible. Um, so I think we'll be fine. But anyways, let me show you the bathroom. Out of the storage closet into the classroom bathroom. This I'm going to have removed. She said that she didn't even know like what this was, but she said if I need to have anything removed, just like put a label on it and it'll be fine. The little mini teeny tiny baby toilet because it's kindergarten. Back out. I am probably going to have this removed as well because I have my own. Um, so I'll put that and that out there. I don't know about this futon yet, y'all. I think it'll probably end up being removed, but also the black kind of goes with my theme, so I could keep it. If I could make it work like in the classroom library, that could be one thing. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. But then I have a classroom sink. She said the water fountain should probably be okay to use this year, but they've had them taped off due to COVID, of course. So then I have to take the yellow paper down, but literally like, look at all the cabinets. Look at them. I have all of those, all of these down this side all of that filing cabinet and then like hooks for their backpack and then that whole storage closet so there there is my classroom should i go take a seat i feel like the lighting in here is weird because of all the yellow bulletin board paper it's like really giving me a little glow i said should i go take a seat at my desk but there is no seat at my desk uh -huh. the seat my seat my desk chairs are in can i prop y'all up somewhere no my desk chairs are in the pod. A lot of my stuff is in the pod, in fact, um, but I do have all of my bins. I ordered new bins, they're white. Um, I have borders, but I need a lot of stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of make a list of things that I'm gonna need for classroom setup before I access the pod. Um, and then hopefully everything that comes out of the pod will be helpful then in like, moving all of that stuff in but as far as like setting up the borders and the bulletin boards I mean and then like what I need to make that matches the theme so I'm gonna make my list now and then I will catch up with y'all alrighty y'all all of the yellow bulletin board paper is gone and I did measure the bulletin boards the square ones are about four feet by four feet and then the long one is still the same height about four feet but I think it's about seven and a half eight feet long um I think it's more like eight but my measuring app says seven and a half so I'm gonna go with eight just in case as far as like making sure I have enough paper and borders and everything but everything is measured. I went ahead and took like these two pieces of furniture and put them right there since they're going to be leaving. And then I took everything off of those bookshelves, except for that thing in the bottom. I don't know what that is. I need to go look at it. But anyways, I think I'm going to head out because there's not really much else I can do today. And at this point I'm just like staring <laughs> and thinking. Um, so what I'm going to do is like make a plan when I get home, as far as like what each bulletin board is going to be. I'm pretty sure the long one is going to be for like anchor charts and I'll have like a section for each subject area. But one thing that's different is that I will be teaching social studies here. We did not have a social studies curriculum where I taught before. So there's four subject areas and I don't know if they're all going to fit right there. Um, but I also need to find a place for a sound wall to live. And that could be a great place for a sound wall. But if that is the case, then I don't know where all of the anchor charts are going to go, but we will figure it out. Anyways. Um, also I was thinking that like this whole wall was blank because of the angles of like the two pictures that I got, but I didn't know that like the doors were on these walls because originally when I saw the two pictures, I thought that I would put my sound wall like across this wall, but there are doors there. So that's not going to work. But anyways, I'm going to make a plan when I get home, everything is nice and cleared off. I'm still thinking on that rug y'all. Obviously it's like a very nice high quality rug, but it does not match my theme. So We'll see what it looks like once I get everything set up. And then if it's not vibing, then we'll uh, circle back to that. But anyways, there is the room. I'm so excited. If my excitement is not coming across, I'm just whispering like to be polite and respectful, but I'm very excited. But my coffee is in the car and I think I'm gonna go to Michael's so that I can buy bulletin board paper. Um, my borders are gonna be different this year, but I'm still gonna do white backgrounds. So just need white bulletin board paper, and I need like 
probably three rolls of it. I'm not sure. We'll find out when I get there. Let's head out. We'll say our goodbyes and then navigate. I need some lunch and then I need to run into Michael's to grab that bulletin board paper. So let's do it. All right, mission accomplished. I ended up buying three rolls because it says it's 12 feet long and I have five of the four foot boards and then I have one that's like eight feet long. Um, so anyways, bought three rolls of bulletin board paper and I had a coupon or michaels.com had a coupon for 20% um, off all regular price items and the bulletin board paper was regular price. So it worked. It's better than the teacher discount that you get, which is 15% and they don't stack. So anyways, got the 20% off. So there is that. Now I'm in a really nice little plaza. Um, I don't want to stay gone too long. I need to get gas, which like ouch to my bank account, but I need to fill up. And I wanted to maybe grab lunch over here if there were like some places I wanted to try or a place that I wanted to try. But there's a Marshalls at the end of this little shopping plaza that I'm in. And like, I don't know about y'all, but I am a maxinista to the fullest to my core. So anytime I am by like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, um, they're like interchangeable to me. Um, I want to pop in to see like the vibes, you know, and also this is like a nice area. So I'm like, they probably got like a good selection update. Not my favorite Marshalls I've ever been to. I found nothing, but you know what? That is probably a sign that I did not need to spend any money anyway. So that's okay. I did find out that there is a McAllister's deli, like in this general area. I think it's just like one more plaza down. Um, so I'm going to go there. I have not had McAllister's since college. I would say I am currently eating my lunch, but I'm about done eating my lunch. I was FaceTiming my little sister while I was eating because I did go to McAllister's and this is just a fun little aside, but have y'all seen that girl on TikTok who like tries the chicken Caesar wraps from a bunch of different restaurants and rates them? Okay, so my little sister is doing that too, but like in her area, cause the girl on TikTok does it in New York City and Abby lives in Tuscaloosa cause she goes to the University of Alabama. So not even like intentionally, I got a grilled chicken Caesar wrap and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to FaceTime Abby. It's so funny. She's like, oh, send me a picture in your review and I'll post it. She literally has an Instagram dedicated to chicken Caesar wraps and like which one is the best so I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in the chicken Caesar wraps and the best one in Tuscaloosa Alabama but anyways um fun fact so there's that finishing my lunch I got a tea they have sweet tea like actual sweet tea oh y'all I'm just so much happier here I am very much more myself so anyways got that oh no Sorry, there was a siren. So I'm gonna finish my last couple of bites and then navigate to a gas station because I have 50 miles to empty and uh, that's not sitting good with my spirit. I need to fill up, so that's what we're gonna do. Alrighty, y'all, we are home now. I am on the floor of the like office. It's just the empty second bedroom in the apartment that we are subleasing until we move into our place in August, which I cannot wait for you guys. I am obsessed, like in love with that townhome. I cannot wait. But anyways, I am in the office right now so that I would have lots of space because my chair is here and I wanna build it. This is, I mentioned it in my last vlog, it's just a chair that I wanna use like as my teacher chair for read alouds and such in the front of the classroom by the carpet. So this is what it looks like. Hold on, let me lift it up. It is like a hot pink velvet with gold legs and I didn't wanna get a rocking chair or a chair with wheels. Like I could have used one that I had like a desk chair, but I didn't want to worry about like rocking slash running over little fingers and toesies of kindergartners. So I did not want one that moves, which is why I got this. And it was on sale for the 4th of July on Wayfair. So now I am going to be building it. Also this box, you guys, it's not that heavy. It's just a really funny shape. Like I've never seen a box that is this shape before. So when I first saw it, when I got home, I was like, is that my chair? Like, how does it fit in there? But I'm assuming like the top of the chair is just like in here and then the legs are underneath it or something. Y'all, the color of this chair is even better in person. Oh my gosh, this is like my wildest teacher Barbie dream come true. Y'all are gonna die. Can you tell through the bubble wrap? No, not even. Oh my gosh. Ah, I dropped it. Okay, hold on.
Shaw. I am in love. Never did I ever think I was going to be in love with a chair, but she is so cute and it's so comfortable too. Like the way that the back is like actually like supports you. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. New prized possession, but I'm glad that it's put together. Now I need to take that box to the dumpster, but I also did get an Amazon package. Let's do a quick little unboxing. I'm just going to put you guys on the floor. Oh, look at the her. Look at the chair. She's adorable. Okay. I realized for like a millisecond that maybe I didn't check the nail on that before I brought it in from the hallway, but no, it's mine. Oh, I know what this is. I bought these in a few different colors. And I think the light pink and the blue ones are, no, the hot pink and the blue ones already came. And this is a light pink. They are just decorative paper fans because I love these y'all. You know that I had these in my other classroom and I loved them. So I had to buy some fresh ones in my like new little color scheme. Ooh, look at this one. Stripes. You guys cannot handle it. Okay, this is like a horrible angle. What's this one? Polka dots, adorable. But yeah, I just looked for ones that came in like a set um, that matched like the colors of my particular theme that I purchased from School Girl Style. So I got, I think dark pink, light pink. I got a blue color that matches. And then I also got black because, and they're like black with white accents. Like how this one is pink and white stripes. It's like black and white stripes because there are like black and white, like dot accents on some of the things that come in this bundle, like this particular decor bundle. So anyways, I am going to have like a little bit of black and white in the room as well, which is why I think the futon in the library might work. But I also have like my little Adirondack chairs that I was going to use. So we'll see, we'll figure it out. But for right now, I have a stinking adorable teacher Barbie chair. Oh, she is so soft. I want to like push all the velvet the same way because I'm crazy, but oh my goodness, I love it. Okay. So that is done. I think what I'm going to do now is place an Amazon order. And to be honest, I don't even know yet, like all the things in my brain that I think that I need, but that's okay. Um, I already have my calendar because I did already buy the like pre-printed one, but a lot of things in this decor bundle that I'm using from school girl style are you print, which means like you buy them on the website, but then you print them, uh, you print, get it. So anyways, I have like a lot of printing that I need to do. And I'm realizing I was like going back through pictures and stuff above like those back cubbies. Um, there's like a quote that comes in this bundle that says like life is sweet in kindergarten. And it like matches the colors of this like theme really perfectly. And I bought that and it, it would be so cute up there. Like life is sweet in kindergarten across like that back wall over the cubbies. So I'm definitely going to do that. And I also thought about like, where am I going to put alphabet and like number line and stuff? Because if I'm remembering correctly, there wasn't much space across the front of the room at the top. I don't know. I need to go back and look at pictures and start to plan everything out. But I think what I'm going to do right now is move this to the side, take that box out. And then what time is it? And my watch was dead or I would have just checked on there, but it is four o'clock, which means I could probably go get Teddy right now because he can stay until six, like I mentioned, but he has been there since 7.30 this morning and he's going to be exhausted. So I'm going to take this box out, um, try to just like move the chair over against the wall. And then I am going to go pick up Tedder. I cannot wait to see my little buddy. It's so sad to come home and he's like not here when you open the door, but like don't feel bad for him. He is living his best life and he is not cheap, honey. Daycare is $30 a day. So do not, do not pity him. He is very happy. He is thriving. But anyways, let's go and get him. All right, y'all. I'm back in the car for this time with a special guest star, Theodore, Teddy. He's a little... He's a little crunchy. His fur is a little gross. Typically when he goes to daycare, like when we were back home and the school year was in session, he would go twice a week. And after the second day, we would give him a bath. Like every week he gets a bath on Thursdays because he just gets a little gross because he has long hair. And typically like long haired dogs, when they go to daycare, it's just like slobber and other stuff. And he just gets a little, a little bit gross. So I have a feeling that you're gonna need a bath when we get home, Bob. Oh, that's a handsome man. Anyways, Teddy is here. 
Oh, look at the teethers. <laughs> I love you, bub. Mwah. But we are gonna head home and I think I'm gonna end the video here. But I also wanted to say thank you to any of you guys who follow me here, who also follow me on Instagram, who have been like commenting, saying things like, oh my gosh, like such a beautiful space. I posted this picture and everyone has just been so kind. And like, I just am over the moon. I am so happy. So thank you so much. If you have any questions or comments or, and here's my favorite part, suggestions for classroom setup, please leave them down below. When I say this, I mean this. Y'all made setting up my other room a million times better because instead of just my thinking and my brain and my ideas, I had everyone's ideas and that's always wonderful. Definitely helps. So if you have any ideas, leave them down below. Um, but anyways, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye friends.